The kitchen maid has turned wife in this episode. She's like a red-headed Cinderella, and her Prince Charming is Paul Dark and Handsome. Yes, I did have to say that. The fourth installment of Poldark shows the newlyweds learning to live together, and mostly Demelva figuring out what a lady is supposed to do. She is a maid after all, how is she supposed to know? But what about Ross and Demelva's relationship? It felt like he was forced to do it in the last episode, like he had to marry her because he finally slept with her. But is that the real reason? That's what Demelva thinks, but Ross is never totally clear. He never says he loves her, but he doesn't ever say he's sad he married her, or that he had to. The other servants are jealous of her for rising above her station. Well, they're bad servants and they let the house get into a giant mess, so who cares what they say? And speaking of jealous, let's talk about Francis. Francis is busy with not really working and applying most of his efforts to prostitutes. I'm really starting to hate him. He's a cheater and a liar and he's lazy. Much of the episode is about Ross's business associates and family coming to grips with the news of his bad marriage. While most are upset, outraged, or write him off completely, one person, Verity, comes to his defense. After all, he stood by her when she wanted to marry a sea captain that had killed his first wife. It's the least she could do to stand by him while he wants to marry the maid. Not only does Verity give them good wishes, but she comes for a visit and proceeds to turn Demelva into a lady. I want Verity to find love! Where's her Prince Charming? All of Verity's work to help Demelva become a real lady all comes into focus when she and Ross attend the Christmas with his family. Demelva isn't sure she wants to go, and who can blame her? The only person that really likes her is Verity. But she goes along because, well, she's married to Ross now. What choice does she have? And when she gets there, she becomes fast friends with Elizabeth, and she stuns everyone in her new dress. But while Ross is still putting up with people's reactions to his odd choice of wife, which honestly, I think he's enjoying the negative reactions. He is also dealing with his copper mine, which has yet to produce copper. Not good. The other not good thing is that his uncle dies. Probably from being bled to death after a heart attack. Probably from being bled to death after his heart attack. I mean, after all, if the heart has nothing to pump, it's really of no use to you. And at the funeral and otherwise, it's weird because Ross and Francis are not friends, and yet they are. It makes you think the phrase, blood is thicker than water, is actually true. At the end of this episode, there's all kinds of good news. The mine has finally found copper, and Demelva lets Ross know that they're going to be a family of three. And the love is there.